All right. Now, in the world of design, we often talk about how we begin with empathizing towards someone and something we need to do. Y cuando hablamos de diseño, hablamos de cómo el inicio del diseño tiene a ver con la empatía por la persona. And in the same way, from that empath empathizing, we start to define who we're empathizing towards. We then will ideate and we'll prototype it and test it. Entonces, hablamos en diseño de empatizar por una narrativa, después definir, después idear, tener ideas, después prototipos y después testar las ideas, los prototipos. This is where a lot of Nike design and others comes from, is really thinking about who we're talking to. Eso tiene a ver con las personas en Nike. Estamos intentando comprender con quién estamos hablando. And this is important in ministry. Eso es importante en el ministerio. Who, always think about who you're presenting to. Siempre tenemos que pensar para quién estamos apresentando. Define who you're empathizing towards and then... Def definiendo para quién están y con quién estamos empatizando. And then create a program, ideate, prototype, and test a program that's going to work best for them. Y entonces tener ideas y diseños de las posibilidades que van a ser el mejor para esta persona. I learned this at Nike from its founder. Yo aprendí eso en Nike del fundador de Nike. His name is Bill Bowerman. El nombre de él es Bill Bowerman. Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight, Philip Knight, founded Nike. Phil Nike y Bill Bowerman son los dos fundadores de Nike, del tenis Nike. Bill Bowerman is the second guy from the left. Uh, in, the, in, in the white here, the, the black and white striped, uh, horizontal stripes. Yes, that's it. Yes. El, el Bill Bowerman es el segundo de la izquierda para derecha. De cabello blanco, pelo blanco y la, su camisa es blanco y, y negro. For running shoes, he even poured rubber into his wife's waffle iron. Eh, muy famoso es que él ha puesto uh, borracha, como se dice en español. Uh, yeah, he, poured, he poured the rubber, the bottom of the shoes, into his wife's waffle iron so he could create a traction, um, a tractional bottom from the waffle iron. Para crear una, un sistema de tener más tracción, él ha creado un sistema, el puesto borracha dentro de, de la cocina de su esposa. That was the biggest innovation ever in our industry. Eso fue una tremenda innovación uh, en nuestra industria de calzados, de, 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 de tenis. That's his wife who he messed up her waffle iron next to it. Al, a su lado es su esposa, esposa de Bill Bowerman. Y él ha, ha puesto borracha caliente en la cocina de su esposa. Now I'm the second guy from the right. And I was just, I didn't realize how blessed I was to listen to his stories 25 years ago. The, oh, yeah. Uh, Wilson está ahí de la derecha a la izquierda, la segunda persona con el fundador de Nike. So that's how my heritage, how I first learned about empathy. Es, ¿Cómo Wilson aprendió de la primera vez acerca de empatía? Bill Bowerman used to say, if you have a body, you are an athlete. Bill Bowerman decía, si tú tienes un cuerpo, tú eres atleta. He was the coach of the University of Oregon Ducks in the 50s and 60s when they were the great champions in running. Él fue campeón uh, técnico del equipo de la Universidad de Oregon en los años 50 cuando ganaron muchos campeonatos. 
So his thought, if you have a body, you're an athlete, is very inclusive to all of us. We all have bodies. Entonces, el pensamiento de él, que si tú tienes un cuerpo, tú eres un atleta, es incluso, incluye a todos nosotros, porque todos tenemos cuerpos. Now, one of his runners, middle distance runner, his name is Phil Knight. He is also the co-founder of Nike, and he would say, listen to the voice of the athlete. Este otro cuerpo, este otro corredor ahí, que es Phil Knight, uh, era un atleta de la universidad y él ayudó a fundar a Nike. Y él decía, so, escuche la voz del atleta. So both of these statements is having empathy for people outside of yourselves. Entonces, el, esta filosofía fundamental es tener empatía por otras personas, además de nosotros. And it was out of this this focus that we created a class that I teach at University of Oregon, a design studio called Adaptive Athlete Design. Y basado en toda esta experiencia, creamos un estudio de diseño para los atletas que necesitan de adaptación. So it's empathy driven design performance. Entonces es un diseño Uh, dirigido por empatía y para el, el performance, para el desempeño. So in this case, we're working with an athlete with prosthetics and or loss of limbs, but they have bodies. And we say if you have a body, you're an athlete. Tenemos ahí atletas que a veces no tienen una pierna o un brazo, pero decimos a ellos, si tú tienes, tienes un cuerpo, es un atleta. And so it's an exciting opportunity to look at all people and be inclusive of all people that they all need products and things that can help them perform in sport. Entonces es algo muy especial para ayudar a atletas tener en un alto desempeño en su esporte. Here's a story about an adaptive athlete named Kip Westlin. Aquí es una historia de un atleta adaptivo, Kip Westland, este atleta. He's in the wheelchair. <clears throat> Él está ahí en la silla de ruedas. The gal behind him in the red striped shirt is Malia Cooper. And she was working on some way to help him improve his swimming. Uh, la muchacha que está detrás de él Uh, ella estaba trabajando en diseñar formas de mejorar su desempeño en el, el triatlón. Kip has a degenerative muscular condition where his limbs are slowly stop working. Right now his legs are not working anymore. Kip tiene una, una forma de degeneración de músculos y ahora sus pernas no funcionan más. So observing his swimming without legs, um, Malia said, I strapped my legs together. I couldn't do it. Trying to swim without the use of my legs gave me an empathetic perspective of what it's like for Kip to swim. Entonces, la muchacha dice que uh, poniendo, poniendo como una cuerda, amarrando sus piernas, él pude, ella pudo a experimentar lo que Kip experimenta todo el tiempo nadando sin las sus pernas. So she could identify with him because she is a great swimmer herself. Ella pudo uh, identificar porque ella es una muy buena nadadora. So she designed this solution called the Mermaids. Maybe it's, <laughs> ella diseñó esta, uh, este que están viendo ahí, que mejoró mucho el desempeño del atleta. So it ties your legs together and he can move more quickly through the water. Él pudo mejorar su desempeño bastante en la agua con esta, este pano, esta, esta ropa en sus pernas. So this is 1.8 seconds faster per lap, and he loves these. 
Wow. Es por, uh, por corrida, por uh, uh, parte en la piscina, él está casi dos segundos, 1.8 segundos más rápido. This design will also work with kids who are learning how to swim to keep their legs together. Entonces eso también ayuda a niños que están aprendiendo a nadar. Sus pernas pueden estar juntos. Inspired by this adaptive athlete. Inspirado por este atleta. One of our students, James Tuttle, said... It says the product design process has empathy built into it, but like many things, it comes down to a designer allowing themselves to let go of bias. Mm. Este alumno de, de Wilson ha escrito esto, James Tuttle. Él dice que el proceso de diseñar tiene empatía en todo el proceso, pero necesita que el diseñista Uh, saque sus prejuicios del proceso. I'll tell you one more story. Voy a contar una más historia. Will Grow is an, is an adaptive athlete. Will Grow es otro atleta que Wilson ha ayudado, un atleta adaptivo. He plays wheelchair rugby. Él jugó, uh, uh, hace, will, uh, Rugby de, de silla de ruedas. Caramba. He's one of the best wheelchair rugby players in the world. Él es uno de los mejores en rugby de silla de ruedas del mundo. One problem from a war injury, he's paralyzed from the chest down. En la guerra, él, él sufrió uh, un, un uh, daño físico y él está paralizado de la cintura para abajo. One of our students, Ryan Fiorentino, noticed how Will moved all around and he didn't have any sternum control because of the war injury. Un alumno nuestro estaba observando y estudiando y miraba que Will, su cuerpo pasaba por todas las partes de la silla cuando estaba jugando. Ryan designed the Concord, which wrapped a vest around his body and locked into the chair, so it leveraged his movement in the chair. Entonces diseñamos una ropa que él ponía y eso también estaba preso a la silla de ruedas y le ayudó mucho en el performance, en el desempeño. Here is Ryan actually designing and prototyping the, the idea and sitting in a chair and identifying with Will. Aquí está Ryan, el alumno, asentado de diferentes formas, testando y, y mirando, tentando tener empatía por el atleta. We need to identify with the people who we are talking to. Necesitamos nos identificar con las personas con quien y de quien hablamos. We need to identify with those who we minister to so they can, so we can help them. Necesitamos nos identificar con las personas que, uh, para quien estamos hablando, para que tengamos simpatía por ellos. Well, Ryan designed this really cool vest, which is the blue t-shirt underneath their, underneath their, 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 their um, <laughs> yeah, there's a blue t-shirt underneath. Nuestro equipo entonces ha diseñado, ustedes están viendo ahí en la foto, uh, un, una camisa negra debajo del uniforme. ¿Están viendo eso? And the vest, the vest wraps around and ties into the chair. Y esta ropa está presa a la silla de ruedas. And it gave, and five of Will's friends on the team also wanted this vest. Y el resto del equipo también deseaban tener la misma ropa. They're all wearing it. Y están todos con, con la ropa que, que hicimos, que Nike hizo para ellos. So a student product in, that started in January of 2012 became a bronze medal winner by the uh, Paralympic Games in August. 
Entonces, uh, el trabajo de nuestro equipo en pocos meses, como tres, cuatro meses, ya produció un resultado del equipo tener la medalla de bronce en las Paralimpiadas. But you can see from the athletes, they really wanted gold. They're not too happy. Tú ves que ellos no estaban muy contentos. Querían el oro. <laughs> But it was still pretty exciting. Pero fue entusiasmador porque fue en muy poco tiempo esta, esta gran mejora. So to look at designing with empathy, first we want to choose empathy. Entonces, este camino de empatía, primero punto es que escogemos empatía. So, in other words, choose to think about the person who you're talking to. Es una decisión consciente que pensamos en la persona para quien estamos servindo. So, after you've identified with them, you allow your inner voice to lead. Entonces, después de identificar con ellos, usted permite que una voz interior le leva a liderar el proceso. You then identify what is the opportunity. Entonces identificas cuál es la oportunidad. You always design with others in mind. Diseñamos para las otras personas pensando en ellos. And you even are open to embracing their critique. If they want to say it's better to where yes. receive. Invitamos sus críticas, las críticas de estas personas. Awesome. Now this kind of, um, this kind of thinking is way bigger than just the world of design. Entonces esta forma de pensar es mucho más grande do que solamente la área de diseño. It's the way we need to relate to each other all the time. Es la forma como nos relacionamos unos con los otros todo el tiempo. And as it says in the scriptures, in humility, we count others more significant than ourselves. Y entonces, las escrituras nos dicen en Filipenses 2, 3, en humildad contamos, consideramos los otros más significativos do que Mí mismo. That's the key to empathy as spoken by Apostle Paul. Esa es una clave de la empatía escrito por el apóstolo Pablo. All right. Thank you. That's the main thing I want to talk about. Eso es el principal que quería compartir. Y ahora vamos para unas preguntas. Lillian, uh, ¿hay algún comentario? Y tú puedes hacer un comentario acerca de quién Wilson es, que no le presentamos Uh, right. Wilson, we're going to yeah. invite questions then, okay? Yes, questions are great. So I can go back to uh, no need to do the share anymore. So do I stop? How do I do? Yeah, design? you can unshare. I'm not sure how. How does he do the unshare? Okay. Really? No, you know? oh, here I go. Here I, go. You no, know, I, have, I might have a second. Let me see. Okay, back to let's see. Basically, let me see. Uh, uh, stop. Oh, stop share. Oh. I see it. I stop share. You got okay, it? There, we go. there you yeah. go. You got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got, I got to present that at a TED Talk recently. Esto fue lo que hice en un TED Talk recientemente. So, any questions or what, Lillian, what were we going to do second? We, first we did a little talk and then... Um, uh, the talk, the questions are... Uh, you could talk about the principles that guide your life. Right. Thank you, Lillian. Thank you. Um, I think that principle of empathy is really becoming an important guide of my life. Y este principio de empatía está tornándose un, un guía principal de mi vida. Um, I think that there's many scriptures and things where Christ was empathetic to those who, who were in need. Hay muchos versos de la Biblia que nos muestra cómo Jesús siempre tenía empatía por las personas. I'm thinking of the, the leper who was by the pool at Siloam. Estoy pensando en el leproso 
cerquita de la agua en Siloé. He couldn't get to the water as it stirred up because he wanted to be healed. Él no podía llegar a la agua cuando la agua se movía. Él quería ser curado. But Jesus was bigger than the pool, of course, and he was able to just heal him right there. Pero Jesús era más grande do que la agua y Jesús pudo pude curarlo ahí con donde estaba. But he recognized his need just like the needs of all the people who needed healing on the Sabbath day, for example. Y Jesús podía mirar las necesidades. Había gran necesidades de personas, así como tenían personas que necesitaban ser curados en el sábado. So we get to go beyond religion and all kinds of things to really reach people and meet their needs. Nosotros podemos ir além de la religiosidad para tocar y alcanzar personas en su necesidad. So are there any questions we can talk about? That's my, that's my empathy is my, my, my central theme. Vamos But entonces a hablar de comentarios, preguntas, aplicando eso a su proyecto. Uh, uh, ¿Puedes, Lillian, liderar eso, por favor? Sim. Uh, <risos> perguntas? Perguntas e comentários. Sim. Um, Jonathan, posso fazer o meu? Por favor. Correto. Uh, bom, eu, eu, eu não sei se eu entendi, eu creio que eu entendi, mas uh, um, eu acho que o grande tema é a empatia no sentido de que um, o desenho, ele é importante. As ferramentas, elas são importantes e elas vão gerar o produto final. Porém, a empatia é eu, eu conseguir olhar a pessoa primeiro, a necessidade da pessoa, uh, o que a pessoa sentir o que a pessoa está sentindo. A partir da hora que eu consigo fazer essa conexão direta com a pessoa, uh, o desenho acaba sendo mais eficaz, né? Uh, as ferramentas... Um... Wilson, uh, and, and Felipe, you understand English, so make sure I'm asking your question correctly. Um, so, Wilson, um, the tools, if, if, if Felipe is understanding you right, this question comes from Felipe, um, or Philip. Um, yeah. He's saying that the tools are all wonderful. The tools of design, the process of design is all very wonderful, and, and the tools are needed. But undergirding that foundationally is this empathy then you are describing which is to identify how that person is feeling placing yourself in their place is that is that correct Felipe? but in terms of your question Felipe, you're muted yes yes perfect awesome yeah no that's really good Felipe. i believe the underlying of these design principles saying if you have a body you're an athlete or or um listen to the voice of the app of athlete um those thoughts as well as you know having empathy it's really about caring about the other person more than your own point of view um, and a lot of times that's not very natural I think we naturally think about ourselves, but empathy is something you have to be intentional about. La empatía uh, uh, es algo que tenemos que ser intencionales. Um, Felipe, uh, me ajuda a traducir essa, essa explicação que ele deu. Um, complicado, né, John? <laughs> é, é, é. Lilian, ajuda aí, ou Bruna, podem ajudar. Um, eu, eu gostaria, na verdade, de complementar um vídeo que eu vi sobre empatia. Quer traduzir para o inglês, para o Wilson entender, John? Pode falar nos dois. Você fala muito bem. <risos> okay. Fala primeiro um, em português, depois você fala em inglês. Ok. Um, I, I wanted to complement your answer by sharing a, a video that I saw about empathy. Um, nesse vídeo... É, falava sobre a diferença entre empatia e simpatia. Um, in this video, it um, talked about the difference between 
empathy and sympathy. Muitas pessoas confundem os dois. And many people uh, uh, switch both, th those both words. E uh, a diferença da empatia para simpatia é empatia se colocar no lugar do outro, é sentir a dor do outro. E a simpatia é falar assim, nossa, que difícil a sua vida. Um, the difference between them, between them is the empathy is placing yourself, uh, yourself in their shoes, is feeling their pain. And sympathy is, oh, that's crap. You just, yeah, that, that, that's not good, but you don't feel the, their pain. Very good. I love that. I think you're totally right, Lillian. That's the big difference. It's, it's identifying with it. Eso es la diferencia. Identificación. Muy bueno. Um, acerca de sus proyectos, Alini, o York, o Bruna, o, o Fared, Filippi, um, ¿cómo empatía afecta el diseño de sus proyectos? Um, I'm asking them specifically, Wilson, to think through how empathy affects the designing of their project. How can, it, how can their project be impacted and affected by the empathy they hear you describing? Posso responder, pastor? Por favor. É, no meu caso, como eu trabalho com pessoas em situação de rua, se eu não me pôr no lugar das pessoas, se eu não, é, não olhar com eles, sentir o que eles sentem, eu não consigo me aprofundar e nem, como eu posso dizer, me manter ajudando eles, porque é uma realidade muito difícil. É, muitas pessoas desistem, a própria família já desistiram deles, entende? Porque não conseguiram ter antipatia, não conseguiram se envolver, entendê-los, entende? Então, é, se não for, se eu não sentir, não me aprofundar, não me envolver muito com eles, eu, eu vou até um certo ponto, aí chega, chegou ali, é o meu limite, eu já não consigo mais, aí eu paro. E eles precisam de pessoas que comecem e vá até o fim com eles, entende? Tanto é que é um, é um, é um, um acompanhamento meio árduo, porque nunca acaba. É como se você gerasse um filho e você nunca vai deixar de ser pai ou mãe daquele filho, na é verdade? Você vai cuidar dele eternamente, então... Todas as pessoas que eu tenho caminhado, apesar de eles já estão reintegrados na sociedade, já estar na sua família, a gente criou um vínculo eterno. Eu estou sempre acompanhando, como se eu fosse mãe deles. Então, eu acredito que essa questão, para você é, ter antipatia, você se envolver, você teria que ser basicamente ilustrando ser uma mãe. Ou, é, ser uma mãe, eu acredito que seria a ilustração melhor. A mãe, ela nunca desiste do filho, ela, ela se envolve, ela, ela sente o que o filho sente. Okay. Um, deixa eu tra tentar traduzir, Aline. Um, and Wilson, basically what she um, described was because she's working with homeless people, that's her target audience, um, it's really important for her to identify their pain and, and understand uh -huh. and have empathy, um, or else it's very difficult for her to keep going in, in this kind of work because it's really, really difficult work. And then she compared yeah. it to a mother and child. That relationship, as, as a mother, really has the ability to feel, uh, identify the feelings of a child. Um, it, it might be similar to that, in that emotion mm -hmm. and, and care. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's exactly it. Um, and, you know, thanks for sharing because now I can join, I can empathize with what you're doing and I can pray for you. I mean, gracias, gracias por compartir porque uh, usted cuando comparte con nosotros conmigo, yo puedo ahora tener empatía y puedo orar por ustedes en este proyecto. Amen. Amen. That's that's what we as the body of Christ all gather together no matter what ministry we're a part of, we can empathize with each other and pray for one another. Es por eso que somos el cuerpo de Cristo. Es, eh, podemos identificar, mirar, uh, tener empatía unos por los otros, orar unos por los, por los otros. Yes, 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 yes. El pastor, Amen. yo quería hablar también. Perfecto, perfecto. Solo un comentario. Yorka, ¿tú estás uh, comprendiendo uh, el portugués más o menos? <laughs> 
Gracias por intentar. Gracias. I was just asking Yorka how much of uh, when when one of them comments in Portuguese, how much she's understanding Wilson, and <laughs> and it's it's a, it's a challenge sometimes between uh, the comments. So we might want to want to translate some of those. Runa, go right ahead, please. Yo voy a hablar en español, así creo que es más fácil, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, eh, el tema es que yo acá en Paraguay eh, trabajo con niños. I work with children here in Paraguay. Y son niños que, o sea, vienen de diferentes situaciones. And they come from different situations. Hay niños que no tienen papá, tampoco mamá. There are kids who do not have parents at all. Hay niñas que fueron abusadas desde muy temprana edad, o sea, desde muy niñas ya fueron violadas. Then we have uh, girls that have been violated and abused from the time they were very young. Y hay niños que son muy, pero muy pobres, o sea, no tienen comida, viven en una casa muy, así, muy pobre. And there are children that are extremely poor. Uh, they, they don't have a home. It's, it's, it, the poverty is really extreme. Hmm. Y hay una otra situación que para mí creo que es la más difícil, que son los niños que tienen papá, mamá, tienen casa, pero sus padres son muy duros, y les pegan así casi que todo el día. Siempre apaño. Hmm. Uh, and, and one of the ones that challenges me the most is the kids that do have both parents, but the parents uh, uh, beat them a lot, and so they are physically being abused. Y el tema es que el Paraguay hoy, 36% de la población es de niños. Right now in Paraguay, 36% of the population is of children. Wow. Y el gobierno de Paraguay todavía no sabe bien cómo manejar esa situación. The government does not know what to do with all the kids. Hmm. Entonces, yo tengo dos problemas con la empatía que tengo por mis niños. I have two challenges with empathy for the children. Okay. El primer problema es que ya hace dos años que estoy intentando hacer algo por ellos. But what my first challenge is I've been trying to do something for two years for the kids. Hmm. Y el segundo problema es que muchísimas veces por entender tanto lo que ellos están pasando, tengo ganas de traer para que puedan vivir conmigo y no lo puedo hacer. Um, and another challenge with me in, in empathy is I really want to bring some of them to live with me in my house. And I can't do that because I'm at a, in a missionary situation. Right, right. Y yo siempre escucho de las mamás. And I hear a lot of, from the mothers. Vos no entendés por qué yo estoy haciendo eso con mi hijo, porque vos todavía no sos mamá. And, and the, the people are, are upset, they're frustrated, they're asking questions, you know, why are our kids being treated this way? Very, very challenging. Entonces, y, el, y, la, y para, o sea, para terminar, el tema es que por veces la empatía, o sea, entiendo tanto lo que ellos están pasando. Sometimes the empathy is very difficult for me because I really understand what they're going through. Que a veces yo, yo vengo a mi casa volviendo Some, de algún proyecto y lloro. The project and I'm just weeping. Y lloro así como en desesperación y le pregunto a Dios, Dios, ¿qué es lo que yo estoy haciendo? O sea, parece que no es nada. And I, I really weep a lot out of uh, frustration and desperation, asking the Lord, Lord, what I'm doing is so small in, in comparison to such a great need. Entonces, o sea, todavía estoy intentando manejar, entender lo que yo siente, saber cómo ayudarlos y ayudarme a mí mismo porque... Eso me llena la cabeza a un punto que es como, no puedo sola, no puedo sola. Yo sé que Dios está conmigo, pero por veces me siento como agotada. Parece que estoy haciendo y que, no sé, parece que no es nada. And it's, it's uh, I, I, I'm learning how to administrate and manage in a sense. Now I, I, I know to call it empathy, um, but I just see what's going on and it's so deep and so serious that I need to learn how to uh, help myself while helping them. I would, well, that's beautiful. 
Eso es, es muy hermoso. As we said earlier, empathy is really understanding and identifying. Como hablamos anteriormente, empatía es comprender y, y identificar y entender. Even if all you can do is this much. Mismo si nosotros podemos hacer solamente esto, esta cantidad. That is what God has given you to do. Eso es lo que Dios ha puesto en sus manos para hacer. And one thing I think we can do when we identify with people around Una cosa que podemos hacer cuando identificamos con las personas a nuestro alrededor. We can help them to count the blessings that they do have. Podemos ayudar, ayudarlos a contar las bendiciones que ellos tienen. When I work with different athletes who are disabled, cuando yo trabajo con atletas que tienen necesidades especiales, they always talk about what they do have. Ellos hablan siempre de lo que tienen. They don't look at much as much at what is missing. Ellos no miran lo que no tienen. I think we can keep a much richer perspective on life if we're able to give people Jesus, which is the greatest thing they could possibly have. Creo que podemos tener una vida muy rica si estamos compartiendo de verdad a Jesús con las personas, porque eso es absolutamente el mejor. I understand we feel like we can only affect this much. Es verdad, nos sentimos que solamente afectamos esto, este muy, muy poco. But I've got to believe that that can have an impact out to all the, to, to many needs. Pero yo sé que eso en los manos de Dios puede multiplicarse y tocar a muchas y muchas personas. I believe in prayer that Jesus can multiply The Cre creemos en oración que Dios puede multiplicar el fruto y el resultado. But my heart goes out to you for working with these kids and the sadness you see, but that you can bring them hope. Mi corazón se, se extiende a ti y yo pido a Dios que tú puedes continuar extendiendo esperanza a estos niños. Amen. 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 Gracias. Yorka. Sí, Yorka, comente algo. Hola. Bueno, lo que eh, me impactó mucho lo que acaba de hablar Bruna. Y, I, I'm, I feel really impacted by what you guys just shared. Pero también creo que eh, está bien que tú empieces por algo pequeño. Uh, and, and Bruna, keep doing the small things. The, the porque, porque lo maravilloso de todo esto es que tenemos a un Dios que es de lo imposible. Uh, it is so marvelous because we really do serve a God of the impossible. Mm. Muchas veces nosotros no sabemos qué estamos haciendo. So many times I don't know what I'm doing. Pero no confío en mi capacidad. Tengo que confiar I can't en trust my own capacity. Y, y yo creo que si tú lo haces con uno él te va a dar el diseño para muchos. Uh, if you are able to be faithful with one child, um, God is going to multiply it to many children. Amen. 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 Hey, hallelujah. Well, what a great place to put a comma, uh, uh, Wilson. Es un momento perfecto. Uh, tenemos que respetar el tiempo de Wilson, que él ya pasó 10 minutos de, de, del tiempo. Um, we would love to pray for you, Wilson, and then have you pray for us. Would that be okay? Sería Amen. un privilegio Amen. para nosotros orarnos por Wilson y tener a él que ore por nosotros. ¿Podemos hacer eso? ¿Está bien? ¿Qué tal, Yorka? ¿Tú puedes orar por Wilson? He, uh, we'll ask Yorka to pray for you. Uh, she's praying from all the way from the West Coast of South America in Chile. And, mm -hmm. um, and después, entonces. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Wilson va a orar por ustedes de Portland en Oregon de la sed de Nike <ríe> y bendecir a nosotros. ¿Qué tal? ¿Es that okay? Sí. Ok. Ya oramos. Let's pray. Eh, Padre, te doy gracias por esta maravillosa reunión que hemos tenido. Eh, Lord, I thank you for this really wonderful time that we had together. Realmente tus tiempos son perfectos, tus planes son perfectos, Señor. Lord, your timing is perfect. Your plans are perfect. Y te agradezco por estar aquí. Te pido que tu bendición esté sobre Wilson porque lo que nos entrega es maravilloso. Lord, I ask that you would bless Wilson because what he is giving us is so wonderful. Y que lo que él nos transmite hoy de la empatía, Señor, realmente nosotros puede hacer una carga en nosotros. Lord, may we learn uh, about this empathy that he is teaching us tonight. Que la empatía sea nuestra forma de ver a la otra persona. May empathy be the lens through which we see another person. Y que seamos capaces de hacerlo un estilo de vida. May it become a lifestyle. Y ahora te pido que todo lo que hemos recibido de parte de él. Lord, I ask that everything that we have just received from him. Tú se lo retribuyas. Lord, may you multiply it upon him. Y que tu bendición esté sobre él y sobre todos sus proyectos, sobre todos los diseños que él tiene. May your rich blessings be upon him and all his projects, all the designing that he is doing. Gracias, Señor. Amén. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can I, can I pray for you? <laughs> Okay, Lord Jesus, Señor Jesús, I thank you that you put this Zoom conference together. Señor, te agradezco por tener esta llamada Zoom que tú hiciste para nosotros. You pulled us from all the ends of the earth to be Señor, in one accord tonight. Nos trae de, de diferentes partes del planeta para estarmos juntos hoy anoche. I just pray that Your word goes forth and produces great fruit, fruit that will remain. Señor, yo pido que tu palabra puede dar fruto y fruto que permanece. Whether it be in the children's lives or the other projects that we are all a part of. En la vida de los niños o en otros proyectos que estamos involucrados. Lord, multiply powerfully as only your spirit does. Señor, multiplique, Señor, con poder, como solamente tu espíritu puedes hacer. I ask for my brothers and sisters here that you would, you would birth strength and blessing in their ministries. Señor, yo pido que tú puedes dar uh, fortalecimiento y gracia en, en sus ministerios de, de estos jóvenes. God, that you would place on each other's hearts each other so we can empathize and pray for each other. Señor, que podemos nosotros tener empatía unos por los otros para continuarmos orando unos por los otros. We thank you, Lord, that as one group together, we are much greater than any of the enemies of the world. Señor, gracias, porque como un grupo somos más fuertes do que el enemigo. And we want to hear your voice. Y deseamos how, escuchar tu voz. And how you care for those around us. Y la forma que tú cuidas de las personas a nuestro alrededor. Lead us, Lord Jesus. Lévanos, guíanos, Señor Jesús. And bless each family and every person represented on this call. Bendice, Señor, a todas las familias representadas y a las personas que están en esta llamada. Bless our leader, Jonathan, and his family. Bendiga, Señor, a nuestro líder, Jonathan, y su familia. All of the connections we have in our churches, Lord, we thank you that we are all one family bound like one giant tree. Gracias, Señor, porque somos como una familia global y estamos entrelazados como, como una gran árbol. And we will give you all the glory as we bear your fruit. Y damos a ti toda gloria, Señor, porque por todo fruto que, que vamos a tener. 
We love you, Jesus. Te amamos, Jesús. In Jesus' name, amen. En nombre de Jesús. Amén y amén y amén. Amen. Wilson, thank you so much. Amigos, esto es un privilegio tan grande tener este hombre con nosotros. Wilson, it's such a privilege to have you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> bless you, Wilson. Bless you. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.